So I've gone ahead and added two clearance holes in this part for number 1024 socket head cap screws. Two tapped holes for them here in this plate. This plate also has two dowel holes for these two dowels, as does this have two holes for these two dowels. And in this video, I want to discuss how I determine what I would use. First, this part receives no direct clamping or cutting force, so that isn't a consideration. All I'm concerned with is getting a bolt and a dowel, I'm just going to zoom in a bit here, that fit in the available space. I want to watch the wall thickness doesn't get too small or the spacing between them, this wall thickness doesn't get too small. Click over here for a second. I'm going to make this part transparent because the other consideration I have is here. I want plenty of material here. It doesn't get too thick so it clamps properly and does a good job. I'll turn this transparency off. And we'll rotate around a bit. I'm going to make this part transparent now. The other consideration I have, let me rotate around again, is the wall thickness here. So I want to make sure my dowels don't interfere with this bushing and I also want to make sure that the thickness of the wall is enough. To do that I'm going to use the measure tool and I'm going to tell it to measure between this and this. Make sure it's set up for minimum distance and I see my minimum distance here is 153 thou. That's fine. It won't be an issue. I'd rather it not get any smaller, but I can live with that. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to shut the transparency of this off and I just rotate around a bit here. The next consideration I have is these are just standard clearance holes for 1024 socketed cap screws. That's not a problem. But the dowel holes, how will I assemble this? Well, first off, I use pull dowels. And the main reason I use pull dowels is because when I disassemble this part, I don't want to drill a hole all the way through here so I can get a punch in from this side and knock them out. This way I can use my dowel puller and pull them out when I want to. The other consideration is what size do I make the hole? Again, I want to think about assembly. I want to take these two dowels and I want to tap them into this plate first. So in this plate, I want a press fit dowel hole. And dowel pin reamers come in three standard sizes. On size, so in this case for my quarter inch, 0 0.2500. Oversize, 0 0.2505. And undersize, 0.2495. So I'm going to dimension this part so that they'll use an undersized reamer and be a light press fit into here. And I'm going to dimension this part so they'll use the oversized, the half thou oversized dowel pin reamer. And this should just slide on at assembly with gentle tapping and then I can tighten up the socket head cap screws.